Okay. I'm David. I'm Lindsay. I'm Ben. It's Dicewind's daughter. Hello from Gamery Bay. We are at St John's Kirk's car park. We were planning on going to Crivy, but when we got there yesterday afternoon, there was two motorhomes in there already, and we didn't feel comfortable being the third one. So we came here. Sorry about the heavy breathing, but I've just come up the hill a bit. And as I keep telling you, I'm not that fit. So, this is the view from the path that has been mown by whoever. Probably the same man we met the first time we came here. Um, he has a sit on mower and he mows the past so that him and his wife can take their dogs for a walk. The view's quite something else. It's uh, warm but kind of overcast. No idea why there's stones there. It's been a while since I've been up here. Uh, as you can see over in the distance that's Gardenson. Oh my giddy aunt. I wonder if this is what the lady was talking about yesterday when she said there was a new path. Okay. So, bear with. Sorry, you'll have to put up with the heavy breathing. Oh, creaky. Um, looks like there's a bench up there as well. It's all new. There was obviously a TV, telephone receiver thing up there. That's maybe why David and I have both got 4G. <laughs> so, it isn't where we planned on being, but as you know, our flan, flan, flans, plans are always very flexible because doing what we do, you can't guarantee the way you want to be is where you're going to end up. Unless, oh, hang on, that's better. It is what it is. So, the fact that we're out in Desmond is enough. Getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning is not doing me much good. I was pretty narky last night, but Wednesday night and Thursday night sleep is not good ones. So my body obviously cannot survive on three and a half, four hours sleep. So, another week of morning shift and then I'm back. There are so many butterflies about, even in this breeze. It's alright little one, I won't hurt you. I'm just curious as to what you are. Um, David's away flying his drone. I don't know if you'll even see it because it's so well hidden against the stones. But honest engine. There is a butterfly there. I'll leave it in peace. I've seen large whites and I can't say this word it all come out wrong fritillaries but no idea what type 
It was just a stunning colour. But I may take a seat. Oh, my goodness. This must be the path the lady was talking about. She said there was a new path. And there's bodies, I can hear them. Okay. Closest to the camera is Gardenston. And I'm not even sure if you can pick up, but the red roofed cottages over the other side of the bay. That's Crivy. Last night I came for a walk because I was sitting in the van about half past three, four o'clock and I was falling asleep and I thought I've got to get out and get some air and I met two really nice American ladies that from Chicago I think their names were Suzanne and Megan forgive me ladies if I've got your names wrong um, and they're staying at Drum the Drocket they've been to Cullen, Clava. They came here on a whim. But they are just so amazed by what they've seen so far. Um, I think they were doing Culloden today, the battlefield. And then they're heading down through Glencoe, Loch Lomond, Glasgow, and eventually ending up in. Uh, Edinburgh. I'm not sure Edinburgh this time of year is a good idea because I'm sure the fringe will be starting soon. But the elder of the two ladies said her family was convinced she wouldn't make it and that, you know, it was beyond her to do a trip like this. So they thought, blow it, they booked the tickets, and here they are. I had a lovely conversation with them yesterday, it was lovely. And then when we were having our first pot of tea and breakfast this morning, there was another car turned up with a family of Americans from Alabama, Alabama, sorry. And they wanted to know some of the history of the church. So they went off and did the walk and came back and said, great walk, a lot further than it looked. And I went, not that far. I don't know where they were going. I didn't talk to them for as long. It's nice meeting people that appreciate what we've got. So, that's enough setting, I think. We'll keep going. I'm not sure about the weather. Like I said, it is muggy, but we've had so much rain recently, you don't know whether, you know. Do you not take a jacket? Do you take a jacket? Uh, at the minute I've got my hippie hoodie on which I may end up regretting because it's a bit warm my inner rack's nice but I haven't got any sleeves on my t-shirt and if I get too warm my jacket tends to stick to me and it's not comfortable so. I don't know how I missed this the last time because it looks like it's been here a while the grass is growing in the, between the stones we haven't been here since last August so I suppose that's time enough the breeze is most welcome it keeps the midges down <laughs> There isn't much of a view from the car park in Desmond because the bracken's grown so high. It's fine. We're out. And like I said last week,
the best thing about morning shift is that I finish at half past twelve so I'm back in the house at one and invariably we're off by about ten past we get out earlier but we also have to go back the shell from probably one of the old quarries. Oh, another bench. Oh, a solitary one mill. Choice of two paths. Go that way. Or go that way. <laughs> oh boy. And no maps to tell us where we're going. Even better. Yeah, there's more than one. Here. I love the effect of watching the wind on the grasses. It just ripples like the sea. of you, apart from a farm. I should have brought my phone with me and then I'd find out where this goes. Right. I might have a look when I get back. But that is the view from where I'm at. Three windmills. I hate those things. Bloody eyes sore. But I think I'm going to go the other path, up and four. That looks like a homegrown one. Go the other side and see where it takes us. I don't have my walking shoes on, I've only got my sandals on. But I do have my stick with me. But I'm going to switch you off for a minute because I want to take some photos. Ready to start off again. Oops. Stone in my shoe. Get out. That's it, gone. It's probably wearing sandals, it's stones. I was talking to one of my work colleagues yesterday and they were talking about the shoes they used to wear when they were younger. And I said I always bought myself a new pair of skulls at the beginning of the spring. I love wearing them in the summer until invariably somebody stood on your shoe and you kept walking and then it really hurt the top of your foot. I haven't looked in years as how much it would cost for a pair of them. And she went, ooh, I've always fancied the clogs. She said, the big wooden soles and the studded sides of them. I went, yeah, they're really comfy but they're flipping heavy on your feet. Oh, it was really strange talking about something that, you know, like that. Oh, I did love my skulls. I hate to think how much they are now, if they still even make them. She says you can get them on the website, but I'm too scared to look, to be honest.
And then she started talking about squidgy flip-flops. And then she realised she'd have to explain what she was on about. Squidgy flip-flops apparently are soft flip-flops with cloth in them instead of the plastic that goes between your toes. And I, thought, I never liked wearing flip-flops because my toes used to get ripped to bits with them. Same reason I don't wear any fancy shoes with bits that go in between your toes. Ugh, no thanks. It is nice here, it's just, there's one, no, I class it's a dodgy corner, getting down here, and when you get to the top of the road to pull onto the main road, we can't turn right, we have to turn left and then go down to the corner and turn round there in the lay-by, because it's easier. Loads of yellow hammers singing and wood pigeons and crows and David's got quite a good count of birds. They just end up ignoring the van because they realise it's not a threat. There was another camper turned up last night with slidey doors. I have a question about slidey doors and campers. Is it one of the first instructions that they give you when you actually pick it up that, you know, you have to slam the door? Because invariably, that's all we hear is door slamming. I'm sure you can shut the doors without having to slam them. took his dog for a walk and then came back and they disappeared off. They weren't stopping. Obviously they weren't happy because we were there. Tough. <laughs> we got there first. There was enough room they could have stayed but they didn't. Well, I've definitely not been up this high before. This is quite impressive. Sorry Gary, I know you don't do heights, but I think you'd be alright here. You can't really see. There's no great drop. But Emma wouldn't like the parking because you can't get flat. I'm not sure she'd like the road neither. Oh my, it goes all the way up there. Maybe I should have put my walking boots on. No, I closed it. Hello, little one. Where have you gone? In the bushes. It's funny, all the course has lost its flowers. It's only July. I can see at least two motorhomes in the harbour car park. At least I think it's more. One's definitely a motorhome, the other one might be a caravan. Yeah. I've walked down that road. I would want to take a motorhome down then. It's a bit narrow. You meet and as they're coming the other way, you've had it.
Incredible. So, I'm on my way back down the hill. Um, I couldn't put you on before because the sun was in my eyes and it was a bit squinty. So, I'm now sitting on the original seat that I sat on when we first came up the hill a little bit. I got so far round and then I thought, I have no idea where this is going. So I turned round and came back again. Apparently it goes round the headland and it is a circuit. I've just met a group of people that obviously some of them know their way about. But I think that's enough for one day, especially as I don't have my walking boots on or my socks for that matter. It's been a good walk. I'm glad I put my hoodie on because it's kind of cold on that wind. In a warm kind of funny way. Uh, it's not making sense, but I know what I mean. But it is a really nice path to walk on, albeit it's a bit hilly in places. Going up a hill is not a problem. Going down hills for me is a massive problem because of my knees. But we'll persevere. But I would really like to come back and do this walk another time. But it is good to have the wind because at least the wind's keeping the midges down. There are loads of butterflies, little birds and crows, gulls, you name it. I've seen it. So thanks for coming with me and I'll catch you the next time. Take care all. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners. And remember, please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.